World War III is coming, okay? It's going to happen. World War III, thermonuclear war. And it's going to be Russia, China, and Iran allied together against the United States and the United States allies. What's going to happen when Russia and China and Iran win World War III? I'll tell you, that's the, the rise of the Antichrist and the beast system. Okay, so somebody might say, Oh, the Antichrist is supposed to be from Europe. And the Antichrist is supposed to be... You never know. Depends on where you consider Europe. Who knows? Do you really know? But let me read this. Revelation chapter 13. I saw a beast coming out of the sea. Had ten horns and seven heads. Now the ten horns is ten leaders. And I'll prove that to you. Revelation chapter 17 real quick. Verse 12. Okay. Um, the ten horns you saw are ten kings who have not yet received a kingdom, but who in one hour will receive authority as kings along with the beast. So the seven heads and, and ten horns, when you hear me say the beast and the beast system, the, the government and regime of the beast, I'm talking about Seven nations with ten leaders. Those seven nations include Russia, China, and Iran, Turkey. That's that's four of and uh, well, oh, and North Korea. That's five of your of the. That's the beast right there. That's the beast system. Now there's two more nations, and there's ten leaders. One of the leaders is the Antichrist, and they're going to put him in charge of the people. Listen. <clears throat> When thermonuclear war happens, I guarantee you, if Russia and China win, China's going to say, we want to be in charge of the economy. Russia and Putin is going to be like, I want to be in charge of the military. And they're going to choose one person to be, who's going to say, I want to be in charge of the people. That's the Antichrist. Okay, so let's put it into context for today. Let's say thermonuclear war. Today is April uh 7th or 6th, I don't even know the day. I don't even know the day or the hour. Today is Friday, April 7th, 1026 a.m. All right, so that's the day and the hour <laughs> of right now. All right, so here's the deal. If we were to look at the world and say, let's say World War III were to happen, <clears throat> and let's say Babylon the Great were to fall, what would you say interpreting that based on today's headlines? Okay, okay, three days ago, Syria gassed civilian population. Two days ago, North Korea did another attack. Yesterday, or not, a, not an attack, but another missile test, which we had told them not to. Um, you know, America had said, don't do it. And... I was reading about that, and the reason they don't like that is every single time North Korea does a missile test, all of NORAD lights up, and everybody in the room has to figure out real quick what's going on, what is this that's just been launched, where is it going, and, and there's like five different missile command systems throughout the world, one in Hawaii, one in like, I don't know, in Alaska, you know, the satellites just everything and and in the control centers everywhere they start doing their calculations and like they go into emergency mode to try to figure out what is this missile what is this launch so every time north korea does a missile launch like that it sends shock waves through the north american missile command you know whatever the navy gets notification on their cell phone okay here you are in the navy you're you're <laughs> Here you are in, in, in the Air Force, and all of a sudden you get a text message. Oh, there's an incoming missile. And now you got to get on your computer and figure out the trajectory, the size of it. you got to, I mean, it's a big deal every time North Korea does a, a missile test. I'm just saying. So, um, <sighs> completely, okay, here's, here's. <sighs> things I prophesied four years ago are starting to happen right now. Okay, so like I said, two days ago, there was a missile, another North Korean missile test. Then yesterday, 
Donald Trump had a meeting with Xi Jinping, or Xi Jinping, however you pronounce it, the, the leader of China, which is one of the beasts. That's one of the ten horns on the beast. So Donald Trump just yesterday met with one of the leaders of the beast, the Antichrist beast system. Okay? Then, just before the meeting, Donald Trump ordered an attack on Syria. Now, Russia is responding <laughs> by a you uh, some Ukrainian uh, explosive explosion going on in Ukraine. Have you seen that? That's like this morning. So, what's going to happen tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm just saying it's heating up again. It's heating up again. Okay, so, are you ready? I saw a beast coming out of the sea. This is the Antichrist. When it says the Antichrist, or when, when it says the beast, a lot of people say the beast is the Antichrist. It's not. The Antichrist is a man. The beast is what the Bible terms as, it's like one nation united that consists of seven nations, ten leaders, and one of them is the Antichrist. So when I say the beast, what I'm talking about is the government and regime of the Antichrist. When I say Babylon the Great, I'm talking about the United States of America and Western civilization in general. Okay. All right. I saw a beast coming out of the sea. What's that tell you? The beast has a navy. Okay, and I'm basing some of what I'm saying is based on my own revelation that I've had dreams and visions. And having dreams and visions and revelation of, of what I've seen, I go out and I look on YouTube and I look for other people who've had similar revelation and visions and I listen closely. And there's a witness of the Holy Spirit. Okay, some people just have a dream where they saw, you know, a, a, you know, a rainbow colored unicorn. You know, and I, I don't care. You know, I don't just take any dream. But when I see somebody who gets up and they look like they just woke up, it's the middle of the night, and they're like, I just had a dream, and the Lord told me to share it. And they're like, i got to wake up, but here's what I saw in the dream. And they start telling a dream that's very similar to dreams that I've had. I'm just saying. So, Revelation chapter 13, I saw a beast. Oh, wait, no, let's start at verse 1. And the dragon stood on the shore of the sea. What's that mean? Well, there's a great divide between the United States and Russia, China, Iran. And what is that great divide? It's called the Pacific and the Atlantic. The dragon represents China. So the, the shore on the sea would be the Atlantic. Oh, no, no, that would be the Pacific, okay? Because if you were to go straight across the Pacific, where would you get? You'd get to, if you went north, you'd go up to Russia, and if you went direct east from, like, California, you'd go over, if you went slightly northeast, you'd end up going over Hawaii, over China, uh, Japan, and go right into China. So you, so that, that represents the, um, I would say, the western shore of Russia and China. And I need to get out a map. Go ahead and get out a map. You tell me. I saw a beast coming out of the sea. He had ten horns and seven heads. Now we know later it says that those ten horns are ten leaders and the seven heads are, I'm, I'm sorry, and the seven heads are seven nations that are allied together. Now, I saw the beast resemble, it had blasphemous names on it, <coughs> meaning they don't, they don't care about God. The beast I saw resembled a leopard. Okay, that's spotted. Okay, that spots rep means that um, it means all the different factions of Islam. That's why I say that Iran and Turkey are two of the nations. Okay, that's two of your spots on the beast. The beast I saw resembled a leopard but had feet of a bear. The feet of the bear is the Russian infantry. And had a mouth like that of a lion. 
Now, the mouth of the lion is the North American... Uh, Great Britain actually represents is represented by the lion. And what that tells me, and I believe this is the right interpretation, is that when they do take over, when Russia and China does take over, when Iran, Russia, China, and North Korea invade and destroy America and, and take the United States... They're going to take over the currently existing communication network of the West. So, mouth of a lion, and they're going to speak English. The dragon, that is China, gave the beast his power, that is economic power, and his throne and great authority. So the China, the Chinese alliance with Russia, and you know, if it was just Russia, they couldn't do it. If it was just Russia allied with uh, North Korea and uh, Iran, they couldn't do it. But it's China that is that economic power behind the beast. Okay, so China represents the dragon, and it is the dragon that gives, and not only that, but the devil too. The devil too, okay? So one of the heads of the beast had a... Now this is something that I don't quite understand, and I've learned... That when you don't understand it, it's because it hasn't happened yet. And when it happens, or when it, when you see it happening, you'll go, oh, so that's what that means. In the same way that it didn't make sense to me that the Bible would say, at the last trump, the trumpet would sa will sound. That never made sense up until Donald Trump came onto the scene politically and actually won the election. And now you realize, he's the last trump, and the trumpet's going to sound. Woo! All right, so here we go. Um, I'm going to skip from, from here. I'm done with Revelation chapter 13, uh, except for one thing. Um, the beast was given a mouth to utter proud and blasphemous and exercises authority for 42 months. So after Babylon, the great falls, there's a 42 month period and it's 1,260 days. Now, no one knows the exact day or the hour, so we can't figure any of that out until Babylon the Great Falls. And then there's a two-week period after Babylon the Great Falls where, where all of the leaders are going to stay underground because of nuclear fallout. In other words, you're not going to see an instant invasion. There's going to be the nuclear strike. There's going to be the nuclear exchange. And then two weeks later, we're going to find out who won this thing. Maybe two and a half to three weeks. So... <laughs> You don't have to believe me now. You can believe me after it all happens. When you look back and say, okay, I'm coming out of my bomb shelter. I'm just saying. I, know, I saw another beast coming out of the earth. He had two horns like a lamb, but he spoke like a dragon. He exercised authority of the first beast on behalf and made the earth, inhabitants of the earth worship the beast. Okay, so out of the earth. What's that mean? That means... This is something that's here that's, I don't exactly know 100%, but um, basically, after the first thing that we see happen is the first beast comes rises out of the sea, that's the navy, that's the Chinese and Russian navy, folks. <clears throat> and then, um, it says somewhere where he, uh, he makes war with, with God's people or something. He was given power over the whole earth. And anyone who refuses to worship the image will be killed. Okay, this is all Revelation chapter 13. Now, that's very reminiscent of Kim Jong-un's um, regime. Uh, you know, um, how everybody in the whole state of North Korea has to worship the image of um, Kim Jong-un and his grand grand grandparents and his dad. So, uh, yeah, he forces everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive the mark. There's the mark of the beast. Okay, um, but here's the thing. They're only going to have 42 months. That's as long as they last. So let's talk, um, then we go into Revelation chapter 14. The timeline stops. At the end of, Re of Revelation chapter 14, verse 5, 
is where that timeline from Revelation chapter 13, verse 1, to Revelation chapter 14, verse 5, is a timeline that, that stops. And then Revelation chapter 14, verse 6, begins a whole new timeline, where it goes all the way back to the gospel going out. Okay, and then it goes straight into Babylon the Great Falls, Revelation, okay, Revelation chapter 14, verse 6, the gospel goes out, verse 7, fear God and give him glory, for the hour of his judgment has come, and then verse 8, Babylon the Great Falls. So the hour of God's judgment is when Babylon the Great Falls, and then the Bible says that in one hour, Revelation chapter 18, um, Revelation chapter 18, verse 10, Woe, woe to the great city, O Babylon, city of power. In one hour your doom has come. And people say, well, it says it's a city. Yeah, um, you need to do some research on the actual word. And I'll tell you what the Lord showed me about that is back in the day, it would take four hours to get from one end of the city, let's say a great city like, um, like Rome or Jerusalem, on foot, it would take a couple hours. Now today in the United States, same same thing. On foot, you can walk onto a plane, sit on that plane, three and a half hours, you're in Miami, Florida. Four hours later, you're in Miami, Florida, and you walk off that plane. That's, that's what the Lord showed me, is that the whole United States is considered one city based on the time travel, or the, t the amount of time it takes to travel. I'm just saying. Um, when does the beast, listen to this. The ten horns you saw, this is Revelation 17, 12. The ten horns you saw are kings who have not yet received a kingdom, but who in one hour receive authority as kings along with the beast. So when the beast, when Russia, China, and Iran destroy America in one hour, the hour of God's judgment, the hour that Babylon the Great falls, that is also the same hour that um, the beast comes into power. In other words, when you see... When back in the day when they say fallen, fallen is the is this city, or that city, or this nation has fallen, it's always in reference to war. So when Babylon the Great falls, it says fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. It falls. That's a reference to war. World War Three. I'm telling you, is a war between Russia, China, Iran, and the United States of America. The United States loses this war. The war, the the thermonuclear attack, the nuclear exchange lasts one hour. And it's in that one hour that the beast rises up and takes over. The Antichrist.